Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. We now got part four of Dio Astini's Build the Apollo 11 Lunar Module. Now remember, this is just the trial. This trial came out in December 2018 in the UK and we haven't seen sight nor hair of it since. There's only one more issue of this uh, in the trial and then it stops. So who knows if it's ever gonna get a release. Uh, let's just show you the magazine. In this one, we're gonna be doing a little bit of the landing gear here. Now, if I show you some of the parts, look, this landing gear here is metal. All the rest of the parts you see are plastic. So uh, there's a bit of a hybrid going on there, uh, but the colours do look really good for this. We're also going to be doing the oxygen purge system and the uh, portable life support system for our little astronaut that we had last time, who unfortunately is missing that from his back at the moment. So we're going to complete that. Uh, so quite simply, we're just going to be pushing some parts. We don't need any glue or screwdrivers for this, and they're going to be going in quite simply just like that. So... I mean, I'm really going to miss this when it ends. I mean, I've only got one more issue to do, but I love anything spacey and space shuttley and Saturn V rockets and stuff like that. I'd happily build them till the cows come home. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first section we take looks just like that, and this is metal. Uh, all the other parts that we're going to be attaching, like these parts here, are plastic. So we've got a little hybrid going on there. Uh, but it is important to note these two ends. We've got one end which has got this little angle on, like that. And then the other end, which has got like a straight section, like a hexagonal head to it. Uh, it's this hexagonal side here, which is going to be basically having the first piece put onto it. So we're going to have the silver part, which will be going towards the top of this, because this is where the lunar module would sit on top over here. Uh, now, there is a way around it needs to go. If you have a look closely at this, we've got a band, a blank band. That needs to go furthest away from this end here. So when we put it in, it's only slats, as I said, so you've pretty much got free reign where you put these in. I'm just gonna put it in where it goes and then push it down. So it's a nice tight fit there. And that's how that looks. Now, as you can see, we've got a little section here, which is where this gold section is gonna go. Now, I've been racking my brains to figure out what way around this goes, and it's very hard to see, but this end has got more of a lip than this end, and I'm guessing gravity would have caused that. So that means it's gonna go facing down. To this section here once again it's just a case of pushing it in just like that simples <laughs> okay now we need to put this into the lunar base uh, the the landing gear base sorry which looks just like that now this is two colors you've got a gold color here not as blingy as the gold you see there and you've got a dark brown here but on the other side here you've got a pin and basically that pin that i showed you at the start with the angle is just going to go into here just like pushing it in that so when it sits it's going to be sitting just like that that's pretty cool doesn't it so it is important to remember that you've got the gold at the bottom here and the silver at the top uh, and i know that's important because i've had to redo this whole video where i put them back the wrong way around so you might see some continuity area errors later on uh where it looks like it's a different way around but no i went back and changed it so we can put that to one side because now We've got our trusty little astronaut who unfortunately is missing his life support system off the back there. Now the life support system comes in two pieces here. You've got the oxygen purge system uh, and they're just going to fit on top of each other. It's just like a slot thing. So you can see how easy this is to put together. So we put that like that and then where we've got the shaped gap on his back there, it mirrors what we've got there. Quite simply, all we do is push that together. How easy is that? Let's take a little picture of our completed astronaut together and show you what he looks like. He looks really good. In fact, unfortunately, due to that landing gear there, it looks like he's had a catastrophic failure of the mission and he's just given up there by saying, oh, well, it is what it is. Putting his hand up and smiling for a photo. <laughs> anyway, that's all we had to do in that issue. And uh, if you look here, I have got issue five, which is the last one, which is going to be some more details. It's the ascent, ascent stage panels, fuel tank support, uh, surface base for the astronaut. That's all we've got in that issue. And uh, that will probably come out next week and that'll be the last one of that series. So hopefully in the future, and when it's 2022, if you're watching this video, we've got a working Apollo 11 lunar module. But who knows, it may never see the light of day. That's what it is with these trials. But at least we know it's a trial before it comes out and uh, it just doesn't get cancelled halfway through like some other builds that I can mention. TB5. 
Anyway, <laughs> I hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 19,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please, I implore you, click the little subscribe icon, wherever that is. I think it's down the bottom there. And uh, we'll see if we can reach that goal. I'm trying to do it by Christmas. Anyway, listen, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.